Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papasaglakis, and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Tuesday in the second week of Advent. Let us pray. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our lesson is from the book of Amos, the seventh chapter, beginning at the tenth verse. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent to King Jeroboam of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you in the very center of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos has said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel must go into exile away from his land. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go! Flee away to the land of Judah, earn your bread there, and prophesy there. But never again prophesy at Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary, and it is a temple of the kingdom. Then Amos answered Amaziah, I am no prophet, nor a prophet's son, but I am a herdsman and a dresser of sycamore trees. And the Lord took me from following the flock, and the Lord said to me, Go. Prophesy to my people Israel. Now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. You say, Do not prophesy against Israel, and do not preach against the house of Isaac. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Your wife shall become a prostitute in the city, and your sons and your daughters shall fall by the sword, and your lands shall be parceled out by line. You yourself shall die in an unclean land, and Israel shall surely go into exile away from its land. Here ends the lesson. The third vision of Amos revealed that Israel's institutions, both religious and political, had failed God and consequently would not prevail. Now in this encounter with Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, God drew together a confrontation between two men, one a prophet, the other a priest. The unlikely shepherd heard and obeyed the voice of the Lord, while the duly ordained priest or commissioned one rejected the prophetic voice. One was accepted and blessed by God, the other was not. Their encounter was brought to a head when Amos began publicly proclaiming his vision of ruined sanctuaries and the demise of the monarchy of Jeroboam. Rather than stopping to discern if what Amos was saying might be true and divinely inspired, Amaziah dismissed Amos as simply being a political agitator. Instead of listening for the voice of God, he challenged Amos because his message was contrary to what either he and the earthly king he served wanted to hear. Amaziah sent a message to Jeroboam charging Amos with raising a conspiracy against the northern kingdom. His explicit concern was that the populace would turn against the authority and rule of the king if they were to hear the judgment Amos decreed upon the kingdom. Bethel was one of the two state sanctuaries established by Jeroboam I when in 931 BC he broke from the kingdom of Jerusalem. In order to unite the ten tribes around his rule, Jeroboam I created a new shrine and a duplicate or parallel religious system. The purpose of the calf, altar, priesthood, and festivals of Bethel was to give credence and stability to Jeroboam I's northern kingdom. In Amos' day, the shrine at Bethel was the king's sanctuary and the temple of the kingdom. Just as the temple in Jerusalem drew devotion to the lineage of David, so the existence of Bethel was intended to demonstrate God's sanction and support of the northern monarch. Amaziah falsely believed he was acting under the authority of God 
as he confronted Amos with the strong directing. O seer, go, flee away to the land of Judah, and never again prophesy at Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary. Amos's response, however, was that it was none other than God who had commanded him to prophesy in Israel. At times, when we are caught between the proverbial rock and a hard place of listening to the voices and demands of this world and concerns about whether those demands are in actuality rebellion to the will of God, it is wise to remember the witness of Amos. Let us pray. Almighty God, who has promised to hear the petitions of those who ask in your Son's name, we call upon you mercifully to incline your ear to us who have now made our prayers and supplications unto you, and grant that those things which we have faithfully asked according to your will may effectually be obtained to the relief of our necessity and to the setting forth of your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 or 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings. Mm -hmm.